there is one thing in this life that has both made me extremely interested in studying it further and further and ask a lot of questions while at the same time giving me profound despair for the future of the human race and that is the innate ability of people to continue doing stupid shit without any sort of a learning curve there is something deeply infatuating in watching a person do the same stupid thing over and over again after being called out at every turn disproven dismantled at every level and they just continue doing it again and again and never seem to learn and the most recent example came today and yesterday when i discovered that Alyssa mercante is added once again now i haven't talked about Alyssa mercante on this channel up until this point because her actions were quite typical up to a point for the standard woke person who doesn't have any sort of accountability in her mind and just thinks that she can get away with everything and can say whatever she wants back out of any situation has no accountability for anything that she says that does and always plays the victim and she was pretty typical there have been a lot of people before her that done that uh, like frost like a lot of youtubers that are no longer on the platform well this latest post seemed to bug me just a little bit because there is a difference between making a drama or something controversial or responding when you're being called out for your controversy and just budding in where you don't belong imagine being someone who is let's say arguing with a different person for something and suddenly a small very bratty very annoying child decides to come and start kicking you in your toes and you're trying to ignore it just telling it to scram and just continue your adult conversation but it doesn't stop and at the one point you just have enough and you address that ruddy child you tell them off and the child starts crying and wailing and shouting at you cursing you calling you a bad man or whatever your children call other people these days when they're upset that's exactly what happened with uh, this situation i'm not going to dive into the situation itself and to the event itself because a lot of channels covered it very extensively if you want to see the full story you can read uh, the article that's on the screen or uh, at that park place or you can just uh, watch one of smash jt's latest videos where he talks about what has happened so in an essence, uh, we have the CEO of uh, the game Ori in the Blind Forest, Thomas Maurer, who got into a bit of an argument with a Twitter user, Xingenue, I don't really know how to pronounce that name, uh, in which she uh, basically tried to say that she has worked on uh, Ori and some other games in a tweet. And... The CEO uh, responded to her tweets uh, saying I'm the director behind both Ori games and I don't know who you are and how you were affiliated with Ori. Ori? Sorry. Uh, she then responded I worked uh, with Xbox user research. I was the URA for global publishing during 2018-2020. Nice to meet you. And he responds very calmly and very concise. Uh, that could explain it. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. I just saw you posting that you work for Ori and I had no idea who you are since you're calling people names online I thought it was important to inform people that you never actually worked for Moon Studios and that you didn't even directly engage with anyone at Moon always be nice to people Ray even those you disagree with and out of the blue Alyssa Mercante just uh, swoops in and goes you're a dickhead to which Thomas Muller goes I don't know who you are and Alyssa Mercante uh, starts bashing him, she brings out a Kontaku article who basically tries to pin him down as a very shitty developer uh, that constantly changes the decisions and what was uh, previously agreed on with uh, the other crew and to which Thomas Muller basically has an absolute banger, very nice, explaining in details what is the process when you're developing a game and how you somehow have to put your foot down and if you truly want to realize the project that you have worked on and you have thought about then sometimes you do have to take 
some decisions creatively and overrule other people there are always some disputes and some arguments that almost always lead to an actual productive decision and basically just dismantle her whole argument in a very concise intelligent way it was a true pleasure to read his response by the way because he took his time to just explain the, th the things as he would have explained it to an idiot and just included every detail everything that might happen during the development of a game at no time was he rude or swearing or anything he absolutely dismantled her and as far as i know that was the last update that this happened we haven't heard a lot from Alyssa since then and this is probably the time to tell you that all of what i said just now was the intro to what i wanted to say because this is exactly what i mean Alyssa mercante has a very rich history of doing stupid things of saying stupid things and of threatening people in a stupid way she recently threatened smash jt uh, with a lawsuit which was absolutely idiotic and i do urge you to watch his videos and see exactly how that story progressed because it was absolutely hilarious on every level she previously had contacted his wife on social media trying to get them divorced she also attacked other people and what is probably the most famous in my opinion her uh, thing is when she was at a some talk show when she threatened to fight people because the world is actually deserved and i just want to pull out this short from vera dark from dark titan media and i'll tell you in a second why i want to pull it out here we go i want people in the industry to be a little bit louder I, I genuinely do believe, like, this is my opinion. I'm not saying she is or she is not. However, she looks out of this world. She doesn't look all there. Maybe say, we don't want you around if you're going to be a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> and hateful. The games industry is diverse naturally. One small insert. She is correct. The game industry is naturally diverse. So whatever the woke mob and the left and uh the old sisters and dei companies and sweet baby Inc. are trying to do and just make everyone uh gay and everyone trans and whatever they're trying to do is not natural so leave it be not because anyone's making them be diverse because the world is diverse you stupid motherfucker <laughs> and if you have a problem with that come fight me physically <laughs> bitch Did yeah you you up on that yet? no because they're all pussies yep, yep. and Three. now Damn. yep that's where i got acquainted with Alyssa mercato like this is the first time i actually uh, known her exist she, I, I knew she existed this corner we have to can hit up this little bitch who's hiding behind the folks who sent me a dm and let's talk match detail she's basically going on with then we, we get hit up with that part place Kim start going happy but you said you <laughs> will help you set up your fight and yeah Alyssa Mercante's response is typical eventually hello darkness <laughs> I've come to talk with you again and Alyssa is pretty much blocking anyone who even dares talk on her twitter page even me i'm like one of the smallest content creators out there that speaks to something like this and that I, I have a very small following on twitter and she blocked me which i consider as a badge of honor and i am considering actually having a real badge to commemorate that i have been blocked by Alyssa. however the the thing is that you don't have just one event at which Alyssa was acting stupid saying stupid things and she was absolutely destroyed online by a lot of different people to the point that she just stops responding goes quiet for a little bit and just comes back with something completely random uh, let's say a month later this is not a single isolated event she's constantly attacking people for different reason and she, then she plays victims when uh someone responds and actually doesn't give in and doesn't bend the knee just like with smash jt she turned the page pretty Pretty quick when he actually said that he will counter suit and actually got hired himself a very nice and very good lawyer and she immediately turned the page going i just want to hate this stuff i just want people to stop yada 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 and attacking me and all that. even though she's the one who's actively attacking people and she apparently in my opinion used to get away with it quite a lot throughout the previous years even back to when she was little she was probably accustomed to getting away with everything that she does and that 
pretty much, in my opinion, form her current psyche. Because getting into her mind is not difficult because she's very visibly structured that's how i'm going to say it you can see everything very very easily and what is baffling to me is that you now have over a year of history of constant defeat to all in the case of Alyssa Mercante by like she was defeated beaten down online dismantled uh, logically and just had everything that she's trying to do disproven and just absolutely annihilated because there are a lot of people that are much more alert now and they just refuse to let her do whatever she likes and call her out whenever she does something stupid and my biggest concern with that is how is one person consistently go through stuff like this being dismantled and just continue to do what they do you would have thought that after the third or fourth time she would have said she would have thought to herself okay maybe things are different maybe i shouldn't be such an obnoxious creature and i i might have some credibility but no she she hasn't learned at all from any of her deeds and she's if anything she has become even more extreme in her uh, actions like with the lawsuit with smash jt and this is where the thing that i said at the beginning comes into full power i am absolutely infatuated by the thought process of this creature because it is difficult to conceive that someone can have such a thought process even though i know what someone's going to think yeah we see them all around us but still it's very difficult to be let's say a semi-normal person or just a person who has their wits together that has a normal life and see someone like this who is probably even older than i am and just operate on that frequency that alisa mercante is operating on me personally i could never conceive to do the things that she does to anyone i i cannot even think jokingly on doing it to someone unless there is very strong reason to do let's say if i'm if if i'm threatened legally and just respond or just i need to there's a lot of a, a lot at stake but i would never resort to what she's doing in any form of it i would never just go haywire and just go hey you're a cunt hey you're a bitch hey you're a, a, go fuck yourself go fuck yourself i would never just go like that in such a mindless manner and as as infatuated as i am by her behavior it also brings me great sadness because people like her to a greater or smaller degree exist and are becoming more and more vocal on the internet showing us that they have been there for a long time but a lot of them were just just not vocal due to technological restrictions before twitter and social media or just because they haven't gotten around to doing it yet and this in and of itself is not strange there are a lot of psychopaths there are a lot of people with severe mental disorders there are a lot of people that are just thicky a little bit it's just a bit more twitchy however those people do not have platforms and do not have fans and do not have a large following which alisa does have she does have quite the following on different social platforms and whatever you might think no it's not small it's not a small number of people so that would mean that she has a following and there are a lot of people who like what she's doing and how she operates. And that is the concerning part because if you have a lot of fans that do like what you do and what you do is an absolute abhorrent, dishonest, potentially criminal behavior, then that means that those people do have what you have in some degree. And that is what brings me the great grief for human race because these people exist and I hope that people like Alyssa Mercante will just remain quiet and not try to rally, rally people to their cause to dismantling other people's lives and just destroying other people's livelihood and relationships and well-being without any provocation whatsoever and i do hope that people like melissa mercante remain few and eventually disappear and we can all be a little bit more mentally stable at least on the level where we don't bother people uh violently for no fucking reason anyways that's all i have for that video it was a bit jumbled but i was trying to explain my inner thoughts and, and, and what i find very interesting about this situation tell me what you think in the comments below do you enjoy it what do you think about such behavior and how do you view the whole situation if you enjoyed my content please consider subscribing 
doing and uh, clicking that join button right below the video all the links to my socials and my patreon where i raise money for homeless animals and animals in shelters are in the video description below and i'll consider your support on every platform thank you once again for being here my name is Kelso, and this was disgusting cheers and stay fresh